Hey everybody, I'm Tazine Kutzi with Kevin Williams Realty, the founder of the team Home Lab for Real Estate and GetHomeLab.com. I've been in real estate for a pretty long time and I'm sure you guys have seen me uh, go over one of my um, favorite topics, which is data and analytics about the real estate market. So that's what we're going to do. I'm actually going to do a quick introductory uh, video here to talk to you guys about an overview. And then I will be publishing a series of more specific data um, that is hyper local and kind of focused on community by community. Because if you're a local resident to the DMV, meaning the DC, Virginia, Maryland area, you understand that pretty much every area, zip code, even neighborhood has its own almost like a mind of its own. It's like its own characteristics, its own trends, all of that. And I love diving into those. So without further ado, what I'm going to share with you guys is a uh, quarterly market report that one of my uh, brokers actually prepares and it's hyper local. It is broken down in intense detail and I'm happy to actually meet with anybody one-on-one -on -one if you're curious about a particular area. And I do regularly use this report actually with my conversations with investors when they're asking me, like, where should I invest? Because this report right here clearly shows us market trends and it actually gets really specific into areas, neighborhoods, what's been going on and what we can possibly expect as a result. So here we go. Um, I'm going to do a screen share and I'll show you guys the report. And this one is going to be a little bit fast because it's, a, again, an in introductory report. Uh, or video, and then the future videos are going to be a little bit more specific and in more detail. Okay, here we go. All right, so the screen that you're looking at here, this is again the Q2 market report for 2023. It was prepared by Caleb Williams Metro Center, uh, my broker, and so it's a little introduction. I'm going to go over, this report actually breaks down Virginia, D.C., and Maryland. Uh, this is Northern Virginia, by the way. Um, and then the counties within it or the areas within it. So I'm going to give you like the brief overview of each page first. Um, in Northern Virginia, the total units sold in Q2 were 8,710. Average days on market was a, uh, a little bit to 14. And uh, total dollar volume, like the number uh, of sales that went on were 6.5 billion. Um, average sales price, again, in Northern Virginia, 748, 334. And I'm just gonna skip over to the next one to give you the overview for Washington, DC. It's 2,151 units sold. Average days on market is 30. Please note that because it's pretty much in contrast. It's almost, it's more than double uh, what Northern Virginia is. So just note that, make a mental note. Total volume of sales was 1.8 billion and average sales price is higher at 853,529. And the last overview I'm gonna share with you before we go back into a little bit of detail is gonna be the Maryland. Did I skip over it? Yes, I did. Okay, here we go. So total units sold, 2,855. Um, 15 days on market average, pretty comparable to Northern Virginia. Average sales price, again, comparable. It's 752,188. Total dollar volume sold is 2.1 billion. So as you can see, as I'm scrolling through, um, there's a lot of hyper-local data that's actually broken down. I mean, this report is like, I love this because anybody who's really into analyzing data, um, you can see that there's so much that went into this. And what I love about reports like this is that it tells a story and it gives us information that we can use to make better decisions for our future rather than relying on national news, speculation, hype, you know, articles and such. You want to look at actually what's happening. These are the numbers. Numbers don't lie. So um, this breaks it down into some of the larger areas of Northern Virginia, which are Alexandria, Arlington, and Ashburn. So um, in these areas, we do see a lot of activity and especially a lot of demand. Um, and most of the time, 
if a property comes on the market here, especially in the past few years, it just flies off the market, quote unquote. Um, so these are kind of some of the hotter markets, so to say. And um, it's broken down into single family townhomes and condos because each one of these categories actually performs differently based on the area. And it has a lot to do with the area demographics, the demand, the location. There's so many things that go into it and I could go on for probably hours about this. So single family sales will focus on this unit right here. So the number of units sold, uh, this is in contrast to 2022. So in Q2 of 23, there were 111 units sold, which is 22 less than Q2 of last year. Um, the average sales price in this, in Alexandria actually took a little bit of a dip and the average days on market, uh, went up to 16 and it's, you know, it's an increase, uh, and that's a percentage by the way. So it's a hundred percent more than it was last year. Um, in Arlington, the unit sold was down by 17. The average sales price, however, went up by 2%. And the average days on market went up by 31%. And again, there's like so many little nuances within this um, as to why that happened. But we'll go into that in the more detailed videos. Um, here in Ashburn, there were 177 units sold, 22 less than last year, or 22%, I'm sorry, difference from last year, negative. And then uh, a plus 1% increase in the average sales price and a 50% increase on the days on market, which is still incredibly low. All of these days on market, just FYI, are well below the um, 45 to 60 day average that we see in a slower market. Uh, sometimes we see even higher than you know that. So anything less than 30 days is still a very healthy seller's market, uh, so to say. What these numbers actually tell me and what this illustrates, the point that this illustrates is that in most cases, there are less number of sales, less units being sold, and yet the average prices have gone up. Um, the average days on market has gone up, meaning it's taking longer, so to say, to sell. And yet the prices are still continuing to go up. Um, so we will delve into a lot of the reasons for that, and uh, I'm going to back that up with some economic reports that I've recently attended and uh, share with you guys some really cool resources for the forecasts and the effects that the economic conditions will have on the real estate market specifically. And what does that all mean to you? It means when you're looking to purchase a home or sell a home, um, it's really important to understand what's actually going on. And typically what ends up happening is you don't need to become an expert on the real estate market. You just need to understand that now is the time to hire a realtor who is. So my contact information is below this video. You can reach me at 703-889-0349, gethomelab.com, schedule a free consultation, and I'm happy to go through the numbers with you.